Hive Mind Network Online, Channel 0093. Secure uplink initiated. Stinger OS now active. I'm impressed. Agent Dillon seems keen to train you. He must see some potential. All right, you've completed your first certification. You have another 29 left. You don't need to do it all, but if you are curious, you're welcome to dive in. Not all certifications are about command lines and typing text. Our work also involves other forms of investigation like digital forensics or signal intelligence. We'll learn them soon enough, but you have to master the command line first. It's a standard weapon and a valuable one. Some of this may already be familiar, but it never hurts to recap. Let's start with OSINT. Open source intelligence is the act of gathering intel from public data. Regardless of the nature of your target, there's a strong likelihood they've left a mark somewhere on the internet. Collecting all this public information lets you map a target's network infrastructure and identify its point of vulnerability. Your first certificate will focus on domain name reconnaissance. Domain names save us from having to memorize IP addresses. All we need to do is type in a domain name to retrieve a website or access a service. These domain names are managed by a domain name server, or DNS for short. That's great for us because we can extract data about our targets from these servers. Agent Dylan will show you how to find domain and subdomain names, even if the target didn't intend to make the information public. Interesting, here we go. Man, I love this part. It's fun to see what you newbies are made of and separate the wheat from the chaff. Right, domain name reconnaissance. You'll need the DNS and vhost mapping module, which you'll find in the information gathering menu. The first command you've got to learn is the sfuzzer. sfuzzer launches a good old fashioned dictionary attack against the domain name, trying thousands of the most common subdomains used on the net. If you sfuzz a domain name like 194.com, the dictionary will first try the obvious www before moving on to other subdomains like mail, ftp, or extranet.194.com. Each time a domain name answers positively to an sfuzzer request, it will show as active. Since that's all automated, you just need to decide how long to run the dictionary attack. The longer you run it, the more words it tries and the more potential access points you gain. Remember, the attack always starts with the most common words. 10 to 20 seconds is a good enough benchmark for easy targets. Well, what are you waiting for? You're the one who needs to get certified, not me. Open that DNS and vhost module and launch a 10 second dictionary attack on the domain name 1914.com. If you get stuck, follow the instructions on the terminal. It would be nice if, uh, if you could copy and paste straight off this but you can't okay night team for dot com I'm writing this down so I don't lose track of where I've been and what I've done I think that's a good idea to start with um, so we need to launch the s fuzzer which if I was that man I love this part Okay, that just repeats what he's saying. So if we close that screen, come over here, information gathering, DNS and vhost mapping, I think that's where we're going. Information gathering module initiated. This module is a recon and mapping tool designed to help you discover a target subdomain and its DNS configurations. These tools are here to help you map out the targets exposed to online services. So, example, S fuzzer. Say S fuzzer 194.com minus T 10 seconds. This will execute a 10 second dictionary attack on the domain name 194.com. OS int scan uses public search engine databases. Okay, am I supposed to be doing the o OSINT scan or the SFuzzer scan? I forget, I forget. Let's try this one first. Three domain names found. Okay, we haven't had a successful um, completion, so I think we're probably meant to have done the OSINT or OSINT. So OSINT scan. 
fightteam4.com dash s ah no 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 o OSINT scan uses public search engine databases to discover existing subdomains using various query strategies it will find all index pages and reconstruct the target subdomain configuration. OSINT scan processes 100 search engine results every five seconds. You can define the depth of a research as a parameter. Depth 500. Um, okay. Gonna have to go back. Gonna have to go back. Pretty sure I did that. Enter the comment. Command sfuzzer194.com minus t10. I did that, right? Am I in the wrong place? DNS and vhost mapping. So let's... Seems a bit weird that I can't get back to this more easily, but okay. It's like I want it to minimize or something, but it doesn't seem to. DNS and vhost mapping. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did it. sfuzzer194.com Minus T10. So what have I not done right? Let's, uh, let's go through it again. Sorry. Obviously, I have done something wrong. Okay. DNS and vhost mapping, yeah? Information That's what he wanted. Module initiated. S fuzzer 194.com dash t10 scan completed three domain names found but apparently not i'm doing something wrong what am i doing wrong have i not clicked start training is that what i was missing oh, that's so frustrating so frustrating s fuzzer uh night Team4.com T10. I think it'll work this time. So you've got to click the start. I kind of felt like I'd already started it by listening to it. But okay. <clears throat> That's just a nuance from the game that I have to learn. Okay, so back to certification. Another way of finding domain names is through a search engine's database, like Google, Yahoo, Bing, and the likes. But Ask Jeeves isn't as useful anymore. Sometimes a search engine will accidentally index a private subdomain because of an oversight, leak reference, or careless third party. We're here to take advantage of that mistake. I want you to use the osintscan command on nightteam4.com and specify a database to look through. To look through Google Database, you will type dash s google.com. To ask for the first 500 results in the search engine, you simply add dash d 500. So your final command will be osintscan dash s google.com dash d 500. If you get stuck, the instruction should help. Okay, let's go do that. <laughs> let's not make that mistake again. Let's just go back in here. Phase two, continue training. Okay, information gathering. Information gathering module initiated. OSINT scan, like team4.com, dash s, google.com, dash d500. I think that's right. work you know what you have now the expertise to quickly identify potential entry points in an enemy network you have the keys to their house of course once you're inside the house you'll need a new strategy there's one last trick to the osn scan command sometimes a server can host multiple domains though one domain could be protected another could be vulnerable ip addresses are unique numbers that identify internet servers and if you search by ip 
you will find all domains and subdomains present on that server. This doesn't just locate entry points. It helps discover links between organizations, like a supplier or a sister company that shares the same server. Right, let's mm. finish up. Execute an OSN scan on our IP address, 98.124.199.93. Okay, uh, we're gonna do it on Bing, slash S Bing dot com. We're gonna do 500D500. Let's go. Information gathering module initiated. OSINT scan 98.124.199.93. And we're gonna do this on bing.com and we're gonna do the dash. The Invalid parameter. Invalid target. OSINT scan is not currently supported on subdomains, only on root domain names. OSINT scan 982124199993. I think that's what I did. Is that not what I did? OSINT scan 982124199.93 sbing.com dash. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see my mistake. I see my mistake. Cool. That's awesome. That really is awesome. I haven't done any uh, command line coding or scripting or anything for. Oh, man such a long time. I've got scripts and stuff that do a whole bunch of things on my PC. Like, uh, for example, my rendering PC. Sometimes I'll render like nine episodes at once and they're half an hour to an hour each. And um, I'll set one of my scripts running so that once it's finished, it shuts down the PC. So I can go to bed, go to sleep, and it'll finish rendering. And when I wake up in the morning, the PC's off and all the renders are done. Stuff like that. It's kind of cool to get back into it. Okay, click to go back. Fingerprint. Advanced OSINT. Let's stick with the OSINT for now. Let's go advanced You're and see what there. else we can Only learn. A few more steps until we give you access to more powerful modules. We need to know you're comfortable with a sidearm before handing you a grenade launcher. So let's finish the basics. This next certificate covers advanced OSINT tactics. Time to play around with the tools you've learned. I've set up various subdomains on 194.com and I want you to test out different SFuzzer dictionary attacks. You'll notice contrasting results between a 5 second attack and a 20 second one. Follow the objectives to complete the task. Okay, pretty straightforward. Information gathering module initiated. 194.com uh, I think it said 10. Was it 10 or 5? It might have been 5. Let's try 5. The good thing about this is because it's command line interface, you can just like so. It may have been 10. I can't remember. We'll do a 5, a 10, and a 20. Oh, somebody mistyped. Night team four.com. Let's try that. What a fool. I haven't done a lot of typing recently either, and you, your fingers kind of forget where they are. So that's one done. Let's do a 20. I want you to see the difference between an S fuzzer and OS int scan attack. Run both a 15 second S fuzzer and a 500 deep OS int scan against 194.com. I love the terminology they're using. I'm really starting to get into this already. Uh, S fuzzer night team 4.com minus T.
Uh, and what's the other command? OS. Oh no, I uh, know, I know. Let's just try it. Type help. O synth scan. Night team four dot com dash s. Who was it with? Probably Bing again, isn't it? Bing dot com dash d five hundred. We'll try that. Okay. It was against Google. I wasn't paying attention. Excellent. Time for a little test. I've hidden the subdomain forums.nightteam4.com. Use what you've learned so far to find it. It may be a long S fuzzer or a really deep OS in scan. You might also find it in another search engine's database. Despite what their marketing team says, Google isn't the only one out there. Go for it. Okay, alternatives to Google. I don't know what alternatives to Google there are. Um, it's say earlier on in one of the tutorials, but I only half listened. So we might struggle. I suppose we've got Google and Bing. They're two that we know. Let's start with those. Hmm. Okay. Um... Shame you can't sort of run two at the same time, isn't it? Okay, so let's go... 1500. First time. Forums.19.4. Excelente. Okay, so that's the OSINT completely covered. That's probably enough for one episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to wrap that one up there, go get myself another coffee, come back and uh, just continue training. There's probably going to be a lot of training before I actually start getting into the game, but um, wow, so good. They really put a lot of time and effort into this, haven't they? Really impressed. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Closing route access. Goodbye.